Hey there good people, welcome. Today we're going to do a very highly requested video and I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this intro because we have a lot to get through. So I'm going to share with you the best tops in my wardrobe. I mean the blouses, everything from the hips up in my wardrobe. And these are the basis of my wardrobe capsule. There's some color here, but really the color is all in all the other pieces that I've added over time. However, these are the workhorses. These are the things that I put with the color that makes my style stand out. So we're gonna start with what was originally on the capsule list four odd years ago. And then I'm gonna tell you some things that I've added over time, just because I realized like they are really big basics for me in my lifestyle. So let's go in sleeve length order. First and foremost, we have camisoles. And really there are only two here that you need to know about. There is the black silk camisole and the white silk camisole, um, or silk or satin, if you will. Um, but I typically go for something that's closer to silk, if not silk. I have two from J. Crew that are really, really good quality and are just workhorses. I've had them for many years. Um, I had the same two for many years. Um, over time, some things have been added. So I have. This one from a Diane von Furstenberg blouse. This one is from an Alexis blouse. And so, though I have more than two at this point, and I wanted a color at one point, Banana Republic had this color. And I was like, yes, ma'am, this is a neutral natural. I'll use it forever. But the two that are really the basis and the basics in this wardrobe that are the best quality are my two from J. Crew here. One black one off-white creamish color and they are work horses okay i wear these things all the time all year long um that's what i love the most about these clothes i can wear them for the most part all year long um the this i will wear under a blazer for work right or i'll wear cami with some denim and some heels for going out there are just so many uses for camis right layering etc um, under a sheer top if I feel the need, etc. So having a black cami and a white cami is just undeniably needed. And here I wanted to show you two different styles, right? So whenever someone says a basic t-shirt, people think the short sleeve shirt, but I think it's whatever suits you best, right? So in Florida, the shirts like these, right, sleeveless were the best way to go for me white one, a black one to wear casually. I could layer it if I ever needed to. Um, it could go in jeans or whatever um, with a pair of trousers. And in Atlanta, where I live now, I can have a more wide range of a black and white t-shirt, right? So this is my absolute favorite crew neck t-shirt from Organic Basics. I've had this for many years now. The quality is just unmatched. This is organic um, cotton. And it is just, uh, as long as you care for your clothes with these particular basics, they'll last you. Um, so this one came for, from Organic Basics. And this one, I believe, came from Jordash. No, Jockey, not Jordash. <laughs> Jockey, right? Now, I have a black one in this, and I have a white t-shirt in this, right? So I could just do one or the other, but I really wanted to emphasize that having different sleeve types in a black and white shirt is really useful. Um, I go with v-necks sometimes. Either way, just a black and a white t-shirt. Absolute clutch. Sleeveless um, and short sleeve. And then speaking of t-shirts, the graphic tee. Uh, two, to be exact, uh, are, are part of my capsule. This one says Audrey Lord, and this one says current mood. <laughs> I love both of these. I love having a graphic tee for those days when you are not trying to look any kind of dressed up, right? But you can style these to where they look very fashionable and chic, but you still look very casual. And I find these really, really useful. I could put these on with a pair of shorts, right? Like a longer pair of shorts and my loafers and put a sweater over my shoulders. It's a preppy look, but it's still the graphic tee, right? Or I could just put this with um, a pair of trousers, right? One of my linen pairs of trousers the brighter color and you got a different look right it's a different vibe but graphic tees to me are just that ultimate casual piece um, that you can wear like to the farmer's market you could wear it to the grocery store there's just so many applications i think for a graphic tee or like if i'm going to an outdoor concert or festival 
graphic tee is it and you know I'm a book nerd I'm a feminist uh, so this makes a whole lot of sense for me and I am also very very sarcastic and everything else so this works for me too but these are the things that last the shortest amount of time um, so I really do care for them carefully because I don't want them to just be I don't want to get a new one every year just for sustainability purposes um, but these are the things that last the least um, t amount of time in my wardrobe then we have three quarter sleeve tops um, and I have a few options so this is just classic right just the boat neck striped t-shirt um, this is from J. Crew, so it's really, really nice and a thick quality. So it's great for three seasons, right? Actually, all four seasons if you add a little cardigan or jacket or something. But it's just, this is a classic piece, right? Put this on with some denim, great. Put this on with a pair of slacks, great. There are just so many ways to wear a really good basic striped shirt that it is something that I don't mind spending more on to get a quality one. 100% um, cotton and this one is from J. Crew. You see it's a bright white. The boat neck works really well with my pronounced collarbones and it's just a good way to go. And then I wanted another three quarter sleeve shirt because they are just really, really useful for many seasons but I wanted a color. Um, and so I got this from Amor Vert. This is a sustainable brand so um, this is like recycled type fabric so it's not going to be the same for every garment but pretty much the same, right? And again, these are just workhorses. I can wear them to work. I can wear them casually. And for basics in a wardrobe, that's really what you want. Things that you can wear so many different ways, right? That's, that's the aim. And then a few more in the three quarter sleeve length, a bodysuit. Um, you, you, like I need a bodysuit, right? Just one for going out, for certain skirts and things. It doesn't have to be any particular sleeve length. Mine is just off the shoulder. Um, three-quarter slave length. It just ended up being that way. I only have this one bodysuit. Um, <laughs> I don't want a bunch of bodysuits, but I do love this one. I find Lulu's has great bodysuits, um, and this one looks really, really good no matter what I wear it with, and I wanted an off-the-shoulder top, um, or I didn't, yeah, so this really helped me do that, full off-the-shoulder, and then I have an array of these cashmere tippy sweaters from J. Crew. Um, in three quarter sleeve length and these are what I wear to work every day in the fall like every day uh, winter too <laughs> just different colors I tend to just if it goes if I wash it wrong which I have done um, then I will replace it with another tippy sweater but these sweaters are clutch they are cashmere um, they are particular kind of cut from J. Crew, and they are just mm, spot on I've had them for years. I think I bought my first tippy sweater back in 2015 um, and I've I've had them since. I don't have to buy new ones. I just have to take care of it. And then in the long sleeve realm of things we have a few options. So a silk blouse and you know I loved <laughs> this and I still love this. It's super cute. It can be worn so many different ways. It does have a button across the middle so it could be as modest or not modest as you want. This is from Rag and Bone. But having a really good silk blouse in a print. I should mention that. A print. I wanted a printed silk blouse. This is a print, right? This is more of a neutral print. Um, but as you can see, I'm wearing... Like, I go with different prints with my silk blouses. I don't replace them often. I get really good quality silk blouses and I just wear them and wear them. I wear them to work. I wear them going out. I wear them in a plane, in a train. I wear them everywhere, right? Um, they are workhorses and if you care for them properly, they will last you for a very long time. This is just super cute and I refuse to ever give it up. I mean the sleeves. I mean this is super cute. There's nothing to not love about it. And then as far as basics go, two basics, right? I have a silk button down um, white top and a cotton button down. The silk one I wear all the time but I really wear it when I am going out, right? If I'm going to someone's house for like cocktails, going anywhere and I just don't button many buttons on this. I, I keep it pretty unbuttoned. It has a slouchy fit to it and it just looks really cute, casual and the quality is really nice from J. Crew. And it's just, you. I did not understand how much I needed this until I got it, right? Um, it's just a silk white blouse. Looks so smart, looks so professional, looks sophisticated, etc. And then there are other times when just a 
white cotton back button down is necessary, right? Um, for work, often this is this is really a good go-to, especially if I'm doing suiting. This is a good way to go. Um, this could be worn by itself with um, denim or like the same as this, but this one just doesn't translate to going out the way this one does. Um, the silk translates more to going out, um, mainly because it's see-through. So like I will wear a, um, a lace bra, this, and I just, it, it becomes really, really sexy yet sophisticated that way. And this one can go really, really casual, right? I'll roll up the sleeves. It can go really preppy with some denim and loafers. Just having both is really, really useful in my wardrobe. Winter. First up, the black turtleneck. This is cashmere from Theory and it is unmapped. This is such a good quality garment. The fit is just amazing. This is a small, um, it's just, it's so good. I just make sure I take care of it. It, it like, it's so thin. It's very the French quality cut, you know, but it is so warm. <laughs> it's insane. Um, you would, you would definitely be able to see through this, right? You see that? Um, so I'd wear the proper bra if I'm wearing it alone, but it, I just wear this in so many different ways in the cool months, in the cold months. So many ways. I always want to wear it because it fits so nicely. I love wearing a pair of denim with it, high waist denim with loafers. I love wearing a pair of black slacks and just giving you everything with them. It is just, you just can't underestimate a black turtleneck, just a good quality black turtleneck. And the French cut specifically, mm, so good. And then a light sweater, right? We need different weights of sweaters, right? When it's getting colder. So a light sweater here. This is a cotton sweater I got from um, Mango. And I just really like the brown color. It's really, really complimentary. Um, long sleeve. This has more like a, a loose box cut. Um, so just having different cuts makes it more special in the wardrobe. Uh, yeah, it's like light enough for late fall right but heavy enough too and I can layer this in the winter and it's just it's really good because in Atlanta we sit mostly in a cool temperature not cold so this works beautifully but when we do get cold I need a few heavier sweaters so I have this cashmere sweater from Reese and it's a medium weight I would say but it's super warm it's 100% cashmere so that's why it's so warm. Um, again, a fun cut, a good cut. Um, it will sit really well with high waist pants, um, whether I'm wearing denim, whether I'm wearing slacks, whether I'm wearing a skirt, whatever. This sits really nicely. The cut, that's what I paid for with this, the quality and the cut with Reese. And it like, it doesn't even pill. It is so good quality. It, it oh, I love it. Um, yeah, this is basically the best quality I have found in the price range I want to pay um, for um, a medium weight cashmere sweater like this and the color right love this color it added a bit of a neutral um, more natural color and then a heavy weight wool sweater now it doesn't mean that it's heavy right it's not chunky it just has significant weight this is a black wool sweater and it will keep me extra warm. <laughs> this is not one I wear unless I'm trying to be warm. Got this one from Everlane. It has v-neck. Um, this one will pill. So the quality is good, but it's not as good as my Reese one. So I do have to make sure that I care for this very, very well. Um, I did wash it wrong once, but luckily it was fine. <laughs> but this is really heavy weight, even though it's a light garment. I love that. I don't want anything really heavy, but I really wanted another black sweater um, in my wardrobe and I wanted a v-neck. I wanted to, you know, that's how I vary this wardrobe. Texture, cut, etc. Weight, all that. That's how this gets varied and it just becomes more unique. And then the last piece in the capsule before I bought more specific things that I realized I needed was a chunky sweater and you guys saw this one um i bought it either at the beginning of this year or the end of last year and it completed the tops but it's just a chunky cable knit sweater i bought from aritzia it's by sunday best and i just love this sweater it's nice and weighty it's long too on my petite frame so i can wear this with leggings um but it's just it's it's heavy the cut is nice on the shoulder it comes um down here I really like that 
and it's really nice quality so as long as I care for it it'll be fine and uh, it's just mm, this really did it I really found the one I was looking for it's just got good cable knit um, I love the way it's finished on the edges on the on the um, hem and the sleeve here I love the neck the way it's finished it just mm, it hit all the marks um, sweaters not cheap right but as long as I care for them well they'll last me forever so these few pieces right that I realized over time that I needed right and I got them over time I kind of hem and hawed and then when I got them I was like yeah you need these you need these so first of all linen tops <laughs> you know I just never thought of getting linen um, I, I just really didn't when I was first doing this wardrobe but in spring summer going into fall linen tops are clutch you know the silk one ones come into play when I'm layering or uh, work these linen doesn't it doesn't really translate to work but casually it translates so well Silk is usually really, really hot in the summer. I don't want to wear it in the summer. Silk and polyester like hangs on to odor, but linen, so good. So I have a short sleeve black version and a long sleeve white linen top. I got both of these, I believe from J. Crew. The quality is there. It is really there. So um, this one I just washed, so it's like completely wrinkled. Uh, but sometimes with linen, if the quality isn't there, it never not doesn't look wrinkled, right? Whereas this one, you know, it really doesn't look as wrinkled as it could, right? And that's because I didn't just wash this one. Um, I haven't steamed it yet though. And you see, like, it doesn't look bad. And, you know, linen is gonna have somewhat of a wrinkled quality, but if I get high quality enough linen I found, it doesn't look so wrinkled that it looks like I haven't done anything, right? Like I just stepped out of my house. So these have a good weight, but it's very breathable, airy fabric for these warm months. And I didn't realize I needed it until I got it. Yeah, needed, needed one white linen top, one black linen top. So that's what I got. Uh, and then, like I said, silk. I have the white silk blouse and I use it so much that I was like, I need a black version. Uh, but like I said, changing cuts, I got a v-neck in this one. And I got it from Ann Taylor a while ago. Ann Taylor has since changed their quality since I got this. So I'll have to see if I can find it. But this is just a really beautiful silk blouse. And it just, it works so well. I can wear it with denim. I can wear it to work. And it's black. So it's very, very interchangeable in the wardrobe. Um, it has buttons and, and things so I could wear it three quarter. And it's just something I didn't know I needed until I started to wear um, silk blouses more. Then it was like, oh yeah. I need a black version and then crop tops were not in my capsule they were not on my radar um, but once I really started to really wear this wardrobe uh, when when the warm months came around it was like wait I have high waist pants a lot of them when I go out with my girls um, even a man right sometimes just outfits you need that sex appeal by showing something right and I'm not saying like over the top sex appeal but like outfits you need to have a balance of you know close to the body not close to the body different cuts etc and crop tops really fit in there um, so I first got this white crop top from Aritzia um, to wear with some white shorts and also some high-rise denim and it was like oh um, yeah everybody's right so I recently bought the black version I say these come big I wear I have a B cup um, so these are big for me. These are um, medium. I would get small. Um, but like I said, I recently got this one. They wash. This wash as well. Like this looks pristine. Pristine, right? The quality is there. They're not cheap as a crop top typically is. But you get what you pay for in this arena. Um, but I could wear it with a blazer. And there's just so many ways I can wear these crop tops in the warm months. And so I just had to go ahead and invest in them. Because I tried some others and they fell apart. <laughs> and then last but certainly not least is a top with cutouts like for just going out for being sexier and just you know having alternatives a top with cutouts now I have options here but the one I wanted to mention because I really like the quality of the products I got from the brand is Naked Wardrobe I got 
this crop top um, in, for um, spring, early spring, and then in winter, going out with friends and stuff. This crop top came in super handy. I like to wear it with like a high waist brown skirt and keep things neutral or a similar, um, a black skirt or like there are options with what I wear this with. But yeah, just the cut of this is really, really cute and sexy, but it's still understated, right? It's a crop. So it's showing more skin, but it's still understated when I wear it with like high waist, wide leg denim, right? or a skirt right that comes up all the way to the waist and it's just it's a vibe and you need going out clothes if you are going out which i do uh and so just having one or two things really works like this and i have an, uh, a top that's um one sleeve which i, I did a an ig reel where i wore so go on my instagram to see these outfits put together i i tend to do outfit reels so that's everything in the top section of my capsule I'll link everything below and I will link my blog post with my full capsule collection. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, comment below so I know to do another part of the capsule next. And if you want to see me hauling some of these things, then check out this video right here. And if you want to see lookbooks, see how I wear some of these clothes, then check out this playlist right here. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. Bye!